You suffer from bladder cancer. You have no family history of cancer, you've been relatively healthy, and you suffer from diabetes. Do you take Actos or Actos Plus Met? Recent FDA publications indicate that there is a higher association of the usage of Actos and Actos Plus Met and diabetes sufferers and the development of bladder cancer. I'm Matthew McCauley from Park Awakeman. I'm here today to discuss uh, the potential of your bladder cancer being related to uh, your use of Actos. Actos is a medication that's commonly used um, by diabetics these days. It comes in two formulations, Actos and Actos Plus Met. Um, over the course of the last two years, the FDA has been investigating whether or not there's a higher association um, of bladder cancer amongst Actos users. In September of 2010, uh, the FDA released a publication stating that it was investigating, but it wasn't quite ready to say whether or not it was a higher association. On June 15th of 2011, approximately a year ago, um, they found that there was a higher association of bladder cancer amongst Actos users. The June 15th, 2011 date is actually very important when it comes to uh, residents in certain parts of the country. Um, this may be important when it comes to your statute of limitations or the time that you have to file a case. In the states of Kentucky, Tennessee, and Louisiana, you only have a year to file a case um, after you find out that your injury may be related to, you believe your injury is related to something such as a medication that you took. As such, if you were diagnosed with bladder cancer um, more than two years ago, three years ago, um, as early as uh, 2005 or 2004, you only have until June 15th of 2012 uh, to file a case for current, that we are currently investigating. My name is Matthew McCauley, attorney with Parker Wakeman. I investigate these cases every day. Call me and I will discuss with you whether or not there may be an association between your Actos use and the bladder cancer that you suffer from. Thank you very much.